about to play with Boinks! Hi there! My name is Boinks, and I know all there is to know about Oink games. Today I will teach you how to play Deep Sea Adventure. We are all deep sea explorers out to find the treasures that lie at the bottom of the sea. The deeper we go, the richer the treasures. We are all on the same submarine and we have to share the oxygen in our one tank. The treasure is heavy. If you take too much, it will slow you down and reduce your oxygen supply. What we want to do is get as much treasure as possible back to the submarine before the oxygen runs out. So, what do you think? Wanna give it a try? Huh? Huh? Ah! Deep Sea Adventure, that sounds fun! Let's play, let's play! Okay, okay, but first let's take a look at what we need to play. These are the divers. Pick a color. This is the submarine board. The oxygen marker on the board shows how much oxygen is left. The dice have dots from one to three. Use both of them. These are the treasure chips. Levels one, two, three, and four. The deeper you dive, the higher the level. There are also blank chips. Use them to replace the treasure chips. Okay then, let's play! Yay! All right! Choose a color and place your diver on the submarine board. Put the oxygen marker on 25. Shuffle the treasure chips and put them in a row in order, starting from level 1 and ending with the level 4 chips. Now we're ready to play! Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> Move your diver the amount shown on the dice. Now, choose if you want to take the treasure or not. I will take it. Now, put a blank chip where the treasure chip was. My turn! <laughs> if there's someone in front of you, you can jump over them. But don't count the space you jumped over. I got a treasure chip! Yay! Here we go! Okay, it's my turn again. Listen, now this is very important. What? What? Treasure chips are very heavy. If it's your turn and you have treasure chips, you have to reduce the amount of oxygen by the number of treasure chips you have. Also, you subtract the number of treasure chips from the amount shown on the dice. If you have two treasure chips, you reduce the amount of oxygen by two. You also subtract two from the amount shown on the dice. If you have three treasure chips, you reduce the amount of oxygen by three. And you also subtract three from the amount shown on the dice. I have one treasure chip now, so I reduce the amount of oxygen by one. And I subtract one from the amount shown on the dice. Oh, I see! Oh, I'm going slower! Oh, we're getting low on oxygen. Huh? I better get back to the submarine. When you decide to go back, you have to tell the other players and turn your diver around. You can only turn back once per round. I can still go deeper. I'll go deeper too. Oh, I stopped on a blank chip. If you land on a blank chip, decide if you want to drop some treasure there or not. Okay, I'm not so heavy now. Hmm, maybe I should go back too. Uh, uh -oh. If the oxygen runs out, the round is over. If you made it back to the submarine, you can keep your treasure. If you don't make it back, you lose all your treasure. Oh! Oh no! The lost treasure chips fall to the end of the treasure line and make piles up to three chips high. 
take away any blank chips in the line and start the next round. This pile of three chips counts as one treasure chip. But you count all of the treasure points. Go on playing as you did in round one until the third round ends. Ah, as the game goes on, the treasure line gets shorter and you can reach the higher level treasure chips more easily. That's right. So even if you fall behind in the first rounds, you can still make a comeback with lots of treasure at the end. After three rounds, the player with the most treasure points yay, wins. Yay, I win! Looks fun, doesn't it? So get yourself some sandwiches and start playing. By the way, ham sandwiches are my favorite. See you!